Hi, everybody. Uh, we're going to continue with our series this week on why the church is. And we're going to begin uh, this morning with the question of why the church is an invitation. You know, uh, when people are planning weddings, they're often uh, uh, worried about inviting the right people. They want to make sure that they ha their list is uh, large enough to include all the, the people they want to invite and then they're, they're worried about whether or not they have enough room to invite everyone they do. But one of the significant things about the invitation is the invitation is not necessarily to the place and the invitation is not necessarily to just the event but the invitation is centered on the people. And one of the most important things when you receive the invitation to a wedding is that you're being invited to celebrate the, one of the most important events in the lives of these two people. You know, in, in light of the lockdown, there's a lot of concern about church buildings not being open. And a lot of times people are worried about how they're going to invite people how they're going to invite people to know the person of Jesus. And that's a very important um, question for us to be asking. But one of the challenges we have in, in modern church life is we sometimes make the mistake that the church gives the invitation, but the invitation is not to the church. Um, it is not the church that you're invited to long before there ever was a church there was a person and the invitation has always been about the person and this invitation has been able to be provided sometimes when church buildings are open and sometimes when there's been no church building to go to even before there was a church as i said the invitation was always to a person the church is an invitation in the sense that the church gives the invitation each individual Christian can give the invitation. It does not need a building in order to do that. And this is one of the reasons why we have to really question why this concern has taken hold of us so much. Are we being invited to a church, to a church that offers us a lot of programs, to a church that makes us feel good, to a church that provides us with some of the things that other places in the world could provide us? Or are we being invited to a person? A person who gives us something that nobody else ever could. In John chapter 1, Jesus had met someone by the name of Philip. And Philip went to his friend Nathaniel. And he said, we have found him. In John chapter 1 and verse 45. Nathaniel has doubts about it because Jesus is from Nazareth. He says, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Philip gives the invitation, come and see. In John chapter 4, Jesus had met a woman at the well who had a very difficult past and so many things in life had harmed her and Jesus was now confronting her with the possibility that she could have full life. After Jesus leaves her for a little bit, she runs into the town and she sees everyone that she can and she says to them in John 4 and verse 29, Come, see a man who told me all that I ever did. Can this be the Christ? And so while I get that we're concerned because we're not able to meet as we regularly do, let's remember that the church's invitation is not that they, people can come see a church, but that people can come and see a man. A man who can make any difference in anyone's life, in any situation. The Apostle Paul could offer this invitation from jail. The Apostle Peter could offer this invitation uh, by the river, the, the, the follower Philip could offer it on a dusty road, and we can offer it to come see a man, come see him who can change everything in your life.